palace facing questions after the princess of wales mother's day image was withdrawn by as jeremy said uh, four prominent photo agencies over concerns about the manipulated image this on screen now was the image shared by uh, Kensington Palace yesterday. It was taken by William and is the first time that she has been seen officially after undergoing abdominal surgery. But there appears to be a glitch on the left arm of Princess Charlotte, prompting agencies, including AP and Getty, to withdraw the image in line with their regulations. Now joining us is Sarah Houston, Talk TV's Royal Editor, and Charlotte Griffith, the Mail and Sunday's editor at large. Sarah, the palace haven't spoken yet. Do you think we will hear from them later today? Well, I think we really need to hear something from them today because the questions over this image are growing louder and louder. Supposed to be a lovely Mother's Day photo that was released yesterday with a personal message of thanks from Catherine, the Princess of Wales, uh, to the public for their continued support. But this has really taken on a life of its own since last night. Four international news agencies, highly respected news agencies, issued a kill notice, effectively recalling the image and asking all of their clients, news organisations, publications all around the world, to pull the image and no longer use it because they couldn't trust the veracity of the image and they had concerns that it had been manipulated by the source, the source of this image, Kensington Palace, and Kensington Palace saying it was taken by Prince William at Windsor uh, earlier on, uh, last week rather. Uh, the problem here is one of trust. If we cannot trust what is put out by the palace, then what next? When they put out another health update, do we believe that? Charlotte, uh, editor-at-large, we found you on your own, uh, from the Mail uh, on Sunday. Thank you so much for joining uh, us and Sarah this morning. How serious a misstep is this? Because, you know, all those conspiracy theorists, they've added fuel to the fire. This is ludicrous, man. Ludicrous. I think, I think it couldn't be a worse own goal, honestly, and I think William will be furious, even if he did take the picture. And I have to say, I, I, now I wonder whether he did take the picture. I mean, I'm sure he did. Look, we'll have to take them at their word, but... He will be furious that they can't manage this process and it hasn't been managed, I don't think, for weeks, really. Ever since he missed that memorial, it's just been managed so badly. They would have been better off not putting anything out at all than putting out this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, serious misstep. I actually think maybe a head might roll at Kensington Palace over this. I mean, it's really a really big own goal. And it's not fair on the children either because they're presumably going to be going to school and lots of people are going to be throwing all sorts of questions I there know. as to what happened in this photograph. Yeah, so much speculation. Prince Louis's fingers kind of a bit wonky. People are going to be asking him about that for, for years probably because yes. this is the second time his what, fingers what, behaved what we, oddly because he had a missing finger over at Christmas. What, yeah. what do we say to the people? And I'm not... I'm just... I, we need to on shows like this talk about the other side of everything. So this is horrific. We're talking about this every hour. What do we say to the people who say... It's a photo, it's the royal family, and there are more important things going on in the world right now. I'll ask you to, this is your job. What, what, what do you say to that? Because there will be people tuning in this morning going, are you having a laugh? But the royal family is central and your thing about trust. So what's your answer to that, sir? And this is newsworthy because this isn't just conspiracy theories yeah. now. This is, you know, Reuters, Getty, Associated Press, Agence France Press, uh, the Press Association in this country not recalling it, but asking for urgent clarification from Kensington Palace about whether or not we've got a true picture here. Is this what it appears to show? We got an image that was supposedly taken last week of the four of them. There are, I think the Telegraph has picked out seven different areas of concern within the photograph. And if we can't believe what's being put out, you know, it's, it's all very well saying that conspiracy theories are happening on the edges of social mm. media, but actually this is right in the mainstream. It's on the front page of all the papers. And actually this is going to overshadow a really important day today for the Royal Family because it's Commonwealth Day. There's a mm -hmm. big service taking place at Westminster Abbey. The, cre the Queen will be there. Prince William will be there. All of the healthy working members of the Royal Family will be attending. But what is everyone talking about, whether or not this image is real and true. And Charlotte, a similar question to, to Jeremy there, just, just expanding on it. Of course, whether or not you care about the royal family, they're always on the front cover of our newspapers. Yeah. And particularly Kate, Catherine. She's, she's yeah. often photographed, well, before she went into hospital, she certainly was. So whether or not you care about the royal family, they are news and they're often front page news. So for Kensington Palace to put across an image like this that has been manipulated, it's not particularly fair on 
viewers or readers of newspapers. No, and it speaks to a bigger issue, which is that people don't trust the news anymore, some, you know, in some cases. And it's the royal family is there to be consistent and truthful. And when conspiracy theories go around online, they're here to say, look, don't worry, UK, we're the royal family, you can trust us. But we can't trust them now. And, you know, we all know that when we can't believe what we're reading and seeing online, democracy starts to unravel. I, I don't want to make this too well, big, well, but, you know, it yeah. does play into that whole narrative, doesn't it? The very ethos of what the royal family is about. So there will be people in this country, Charlotte, who are royalists like me. There will be people who are Republicans. Julia is one of them. That's fine. That's fine. What I'm asking you is this, and I know we can't be specific. We've said this since this morning. Do you believe that this, this points to more going on than we've been led to believe? As a royal, I'm not asking you to speculate no, on conspiracy, no, no, but does it make you question? Because what happened to me at 20 to 6 this morning when I had it explained to me was, geez. Why have you done that? Are you hiding something? That's me being really honest. Yeah, I think possibly it hides to maybe Kate not feeling her best and they're trying to portray her as absolutely fine. The, I mean, she's glowing there. She looks better than I did on my wedding day. I mean, she looks incredible. <laughs> but, you know, it's OK if she's actually not looking her best today because she's just had an operation two months ago. And so it might be something as simple as she's not as well as she ha as this photo suggests. She's just feeling a bit ropey when this photo was taken on Mother's Day. And, you know, they souped it up a bit. It, but, you and know... I think the question I, you raised, Charlotte, as well, was this photograph taken by Prince William yes. last week? I mean, lots and of people asking... And when was it asking, taking? Yes, it taken? lots of people asking, yes, they were, why is there a tree in bloom? And you think, well, there must be an explanation for it. Why has she not got a ring on her finger? Or perhaps mm. she took them off through surgery. But you can't trust those rational explanations if you're not sure that what you're getting from yes. the palace and is actually something... believable and accurate. Yeah. Over something as innocent as a photograph of a mother with her three children Which was supposed on Mother's Day. to reassure the public exactly. that everything was fine. It, it would have been better if they'd shown her not on her best day, looking a little bit tired. You know, in that TMZ photo that's kind of what a lot of people have seen but we can't print, she didn't look her best. She looked fine, but she didn't look her best. But um, by by preventing us from printing that fit picture, which is fair enough because it was a private picture and she was on the school run, but putting out this souped up photo, mm. it's just it's just adding to more and more confusion and and bigger conspiracies. Whereas it could they could just say she wasn't feeling her best that day. What, sorry. What does this say about how important it is that at least to the royal family that members are seen? quote unquote, at their best. Do you think that's quite an old fashioned way to view public relations? Because nowadays with Instagram, we see celebrities at their best. We also mm. see celebrities at their worst, crying sometimes in videos. Do you think that Kensington Palace or the royal firm need to change the way in which they portray members to the public? Yeah, it puts so much pressure on Kate, don't you think? I mean, really maybe does. this ties into the whole thing because she's under so much pressure. Yeah. She's, she could be buckling behind the scenes before we know. We're also getting more images coming out from Buckingham Palace of the King, for example. We're seeing more footage of him. He doesn't look well, of, by the way. Of him opening no. his cards, for example. He doesn't look well. There is a, a concerted Ours. effort to try and reassure the public that everything is OK. Mm. And people want to see that. They want to know that the head of state particularly, and I do think there's a big difference between Charles and Kate in terms of the need to release information and pictures. There's a very diff yeah. big difference in their roles. And they're both entitled to medical privacy. The King's decided to share his diagnosis. And we are seeing more and more images. We saw him with Jeremy Hunt last week, for example. A, a big effort to show him getting on with the job. Um, but, you know, we need to know that that is actually what we are seeing. Uh, love to get your thoughts. Thank you to Sarah. Thank you to Charlotte Griffiths in the Mail on Sunday.